Howdy. Howdy. Oh, let's get some energy back after lunch. Howdy. Howdy. Cool. My name is Rob Nellix. This is Sean Clark. We are with High Level. It's two out of the three with High Level. Um, and we're going to talk about how to 5x your agency with three small changes. All right. So first off, how many people here are actually agency owners? Cool. How many have more than one client? Okay. All right, so we're just going to quickly do a quick background about me. So I'm from Dallas. Uh, I started my first business when I was 16 years old, now 34, so it's a long time ago. Uh, basically, I was selling game servers online. So that's when I started learning about digital marketing and different ways of maximizing the internet for income. Uh, over the years, I became a Fortune 500 consultant, consulted for Fortune 1, Walmart, at and um, and we have a couple of those clients on the books now. Um, and I have an agency, digital marketing agency, with 22 employees. Uh, we service small businesses, uh, going up to some large businesses as well. Um, along the way, met Sean Clark. Sean? Oh yeah, OK. <laughs> that's, that's my family and I. We just got back from Disneyland. We definitely got to ride that ride, so that was fun. Um, I'm from Eugene, Oregon, which is the home of the Ducks and also where Nike's from. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Um, go Ducks. And then, um, so I started off life building a $30 million call center operation from scratch after I dropped out of college. So that was a cool start in my business career. Um, I started a SaaS company in 2013 and I sold it about two years ago now. So we got about a thousand customers in the accounting space off my kitchen table. So that was a blast. Um, and then of course, um, started high level right after this, um, working with uh, over 500 marketing agencies now and climbing. And so up to about 15 team members and having a great time. So. Um, hopefully, we'll show you a little bit of that today and talk you through kind of wh what our vision is and where we're going. Uh, oh, there you go. Sorry, I already quoted that. There you go. Done. Cool. All right. So the way that we came about high level was starting out with my agency. We knew that we had problems. We needed to figure out a way to solve it. So most agency owners face these three problems. I need more customers. Who needs more customers? Why isn't everybody raising their hand? <laughs> All right. I need to scale up. Who's looking to scale up right now? Perfect. And how to keep your clients longer. Retention. It's a big part. Raise your hand for retention. Good. We're in the right room. All right. So let's talk about I need more customers. And by the way, our presentation is really short. We're going to get right into a demo here shortly. So <laughs> you don't feel like you're going to get bored with all this. Um, as far as needing more customers, you should always be prospecting focused. That should be your number one thing. Never let off the gas pedal. I think we were talking to someone at lunch about this. The second that you let off the gas pedal, you will lose your momentum, and it's hard to get back on that horse again. should also be niching down. And one of the big things with niching down is focusing in on an industry, but not just focusing in on one specific delivery method. You should own the whole space. Most businesses, good businesses, have a set-aside advertising budget. Your goal as an agency is to know that space to where you can own 100% of that market. And that's one of the ways that we scaled up our agency. So that doesn't mean that we do everything. When I started out, it wasn't me doing everything in-house. It was finding other people and getting them to deliver, but I own the account. And that's how we scaled up. You also need to be where they hang out at. And what I mean by that is figuring out what events. So you guys are here at an agency style event. If you're in the solar industry, you should be at a solar event. If you're in a medical industry, you should be at a medical event. There's a teacher event next door. If you go to those events, you don't need to get a booth or anything. You just need to be in the session talking and networking with them. You can also find channel partners. Channel partners are someone who may be a vendor to these individuals. If you reach out to them and ask if you can do some sort of venture or just something to where you can get their name and their leverage, they have the client list. If you can get a small percentage of that, they become a great partner and you can acquire clients very quickly that way. All right, number two, I need to scale up. This is where high level comes in. You can actually automate your whole business back end as far as prospecting and, and, and different things that you want to be able to do that you find very monotonous and time consuming. And upselling. As I mentioned, if you go in with one service, you should you know, win that client over so that when you do want to sell them on other services, they're an easy person. They've already given you money, so they're open to spending more with you if you're giving them great results. And I need better retention. So most of the time, how many of you guys heard 
your leads are weak. You don't want, you know, you're not providing services. Well, with high level, one of the things that we want to solve is fixing this. And of course, that's automating the communication. You can now force that communication for your clients and have this as an accountability tool. And that's really where we came up with high level. So I'm gonna pass the baton or the screen or something <laughs> over to Sean to start doing a quick demo of it. Awesome, so how many of you got a text message from Tim a couple minutes ago? That's actually a text message from high level. So in about, so Tim said the room's really empty, he wanted to get everybody back, so he jumped in a high level in about two minutes, he was able to broadcast a text to all of you, but all of you thought it was coming from Tim. And so really that's a great introduction to kind of what we do. So high level was created as a solution to Robin Alex's problem as an agency. So when you're thinking about how to scale up your agency, how to, how to kind of go out and focus on prospecting, you need something that when you sell a new client, you can immediately get them set up in the first 30 minutes, you can have a new account going, and you can have all of their campaigns automated, all of their the follow-up automated, and, um, and just be, be back out prospecting to your next client. So let me kind of show you through this demo kind of what we are and who we are today, and I'll kind of um, maybe get a good idea of kind of where we're coming from. So on screen, hopefully, you can see high level here. So this is, um, let me drop you into one of our client accounts. So this is a, a law firm in Los Angeles, California called Visionary Law Group. And Visionary Law Group, um, the agency that they work with is called Law Hustle. And Law Hustle does online lead generation for them. Does anybody here do lead generation for their clients? Awesome. So what happens when leads come in? What do you expect your clients to do? What's the most important thing to, to do when a new lead comes in? Follow up, that's right. And so there's two, there's two things with follow up. One is the speed the lead issue. So there's a great MIT lead study that says, listen, if you can get back to a lead within the first five minutes, the likelihood of close goes up you know, exponentially. And the reason why is simple. You already know where they're at. They're sitting on your ad, they're sitting on your, you know, your landing page, they're, they're thinking about your service, they've given you their information. But most of the time, our customers are not following up in the first five minutes. So high level works to, to solve that issue. And once you do follow up initially, what happens when they don't come back? So you say, hey, thanks a lot for registering for our offer. I'd love to get you scheduled for an appointment. What happens when they don't, they don't immediately reply? Well, most of the time, people forget. They drop it. Maybe they follow up once. Maybe they follow up twice. But a lot of times, you need to follow up 10 times, 20 times, if that's what it takes to get that person through the door. So a good example is Visionary Law Group. So what they, what they are is they're just a, uh, they are a workers' compensation law firm in L.A., and they're generating leads online for people who, you know, slips and falls at work, I got run over by a tractor at my work, whatever it is. And these people are reaching out, they're saying, hey, I need an attorney. And what these people found is with their standard follow-up system, which was just manual, compared to us, they were able to triple the number of clients they were bringing in in the first 30 days of using our system with zero additional spend on, on more leads. So let me walk you through kind of what they do and kind of how we help them. So what they're doing is when a new lead comes into the system, we automatically ingest them in through, through any of their lead sources. It could be ClickFunnels, it could be NOLO, it could be a form on a website, it could be a phone call. It doesn't matter the lead source, we automatically bring that in. And, and, it, and within the first minute, we send them an SMS text message, we send them an email, we automatically make a phone call out to them if it's business hours, and we do a voicemail drop all in behind that, all within the first five minutes, or oh, one minute, excuse me. So if you're that lead, and you've registered with this law firm, all of a sudden they're calling you, they're texting you, they're emailing you, they're making it very clear that they're trying to help you. And at that point, if you, if you don't respond to them, most of the time this is where other people would give up, they actually automatically roll you into a new campaign and they literally will sit there and text you and voicemail you and email you for 90 days or until you reply to them. It's nine months. Yeah, oh, is it nine months? Nine months? And, that, and, and that's the point, actually. So um, I, 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 I never pre can this account. I never know exactly um, where, where it's going to be. But like, but this is a good example. So um, Claudina M Martinez here, she registered um, yesterday at 11 o'clock. They've already sent her a, me a text message. They've sent her an email. They tried to make a phone call. She didn't pick up a phone. They dropped her. They sent her a voicemail. They texted her. They voicemailed her. And then finally, she comes back and says, no, thank you. Um, the funny thing is, though, it, this, none of this was what was the actual law firm doing the follow-up. This is 100% our system. And what is amazing is you'll see this time and time and time again. What eventually will happen is, and this is a good example here, 
This, this person, Maria, she gets the text, she gets the email, they make the phone call, she doesn't pick up, and then she texts back yes. And what's cool about this is his original text said, do you have time to talk today? And how many of you are with industries that are looking for some kind of connection, like an appointment? A lot of you would imagine, right? It's a very common use case. So what we have is, we, on this res response, we actually analyze it, and we don't use just keyword matching, we use machine learning. So let's say she had said, sounds good, sure, okay, anything that's positive, this next message here, it was all, was all automatic. Hey, thanks a lot, here's a link to my calendar. She, she opens this on her phone, it brings up the, the booking widget for this law firm, and then when she chooses a time, it's already pre-canned with her information, and bam, they've got a booked appointment on that attorney's calendar. 40% of the time, this law firm will book in a new lead all the way to an attorney without ever actually speaking to them. Yeah, so when you talk about us as agency owners, how would you like to get appointments on your calendar without you lifting a finger? That's what we built this system on. Now in her case, she doesn't take the bait. <laughs> she says, now is a good time. And then at that point, our automation ceases, ceases to follow up with her. We now know we can't, we can't help her. So now we actually alert the attorney. And we, alert, we have a mobile app on iPhone phone and Android. We also have desktop notifications. And the attorney actually jumps in. Hey, thanks for responding. I'm getting ready for a cross-examination. Um, and then notice this was actually last Tuesday at 6.33. So this is, another, this is a great example of where the client actually falls down hard. He says something back to her, she doesn't respond, and then he fails to follow up with her subsequent to that. But the, oh, that's an interesting feedback there. So but the automation actually starts back up again yesterday automatically. So when the attorney fails to follow up with a client who is actually interested, we don't let her go. We, we start this automation flow all over again, and now we'll continue to follow up with her until she comes back. And so the idea here is that you get this beautiful mix between manual actions and automatic actions. And, then, and the net net is you just get a lot more people to close. So you know, there's tons of conversations here. How do you track all this with customers? We've got this awesome integrated pipeline. Um, this is actually their case pipeline. Um, pipeline management system that's all customizable. And so what these folks do is they use this to track, OK, who are my prospects? Who's booked appointments? Who's on consultations? And that basically this is like a Trello style system or a pipe drive system if you've ever used either of those. And then we have a lot of marketing automation that goes into here. So like when people book appointments, we can automatically move cards around. You can manually move cards around. You can automatically initiate campaigns when you move cards around. So there's a lot going on here. But in effect, what we're trying to do is move people down the sales funnel from prospect all the way to, in their case, pending follow up, which for them is a new, a new case, all automatically. Um, so in this case, the agency doesn't actually do any of this work. So this, this company, Law Hustle, they sell this to their client, Visionary Law Group, as a recurring monthly software product, in addition to their services that they're already offering. And it's great for them because it's an additional revenue opportunity, and it allows these people to have a system to actually go in and move these leads through. And there's accountability at all stages. So if they're not following up, the agency owner, if, the lead, if Visionary Law Group comes back to Law Hustle and says, hey, these leads are garbage, they're terrible, it's really easy for them to go into these conversations and very quickly point out, like, they're not terrible. You took two days to follow up with this lady who said, yeah, I want an appointment. Like, who's terrible? You're terrible. Like, let's, let's fix this. <laughs> and we, and it, when they don't do that, because you tell them they're terrible, you prove it to them, they're not going to change their behavior. The automation is still there to kind of carry it through and keep pushing them down the line until they actually convert. So we've seen this be tremendously successful. Um, you know, we've got a ton of features that I could set up here and show you, but really our mission and our vision, so we only sell to marketing agencies, we don't sell to any end businesses. Our vision is to really help marketing agencies um, really level their game up, scale up, be able to actually add revenue through the door. So a lot of people, almost everybody who uses us, uh, A, we're all white labeled, um, that everybody who uses us sells us as a product in addition to their services and it helps them bring in additional revenue. It gives them a price point opportunity for people who say, well, I'm not really ready to pay $2,000 a month or $3,000 a month in a retainer. A lot of people will say, you know, what's great is I've actually got a done with you concept where it's really selling the software with the training that goes with it. Yeah, and, and let's think about that. If you talk about your competitors going out to your same industry, they may be working with another marketer or an agency. And the traditional flow is you use Zapier and run into a spreadsheet, right? You can go to these companies and say, look, we know that you're working with somebody. We have this CRM built for this industry. You can have your marketer pump into the software. Now you can start getting them on a recurring platform, right? Charge them $300 a month or something like that. And you can automate all their campaigns. Now when it's time to
talk to them again and say, you know what, they're not doing a good job in marketing for Facebook ads or Google ads or SEO, whatever you do, and now you have the opportunity to win that business from them. So it's, it's just another product that you can offer to your industry. And we do, I mean, there's a, I, I, I gotta show you a couple of the features. So this is Chicago NeuroPain. There are three location uh, NeuroPain practice. We do all their online appointment booking for all their locations, and, and this, is, this is actually not us doing it directly. This is for one of our agency partners. We also offer the, um, we're also web chat down here, so you can offer your, your clients web chat on their, web, on their website. We're also this um, cool reviews widget down here, so you can actually, we have full reputation management capabilities in the platform, so like if you're familiar with like a bird eye or a podium, um, we can pull in, not only pull in all the reviews, but we can also um, help automatically generate new reviews for clients. Uh, we, we're, we're this cool little um, reviews widget that's hanging out right here, and we automatically will post new reviews as they come in at four and a half stars or higher. Um, we've got, we're, we've got, uh, let, you know, like we've got a drag and drop form builder that we've built. So if you're doing forms on websites, we we can handle all that. We have a survey builder. So if you use Survey Gizmo or somebody like that, we'll replace Survey Gizmo for you. Um, so th there's a there's a ton here. Um, we do inbound and outbound phone call tracking, phone call recording. The idea here is really simple. We're trying to take the entire marketing agency stack and put it into one application that you guys can then take and not only use for yourselves, but also mostly use for your clients to help you automatically scale this all up. Um, and the cool news is once you come in here and you build out all these forms and all these campaigns and everything else, we have this awesome concept called the account snapshot. And the account snapshot will actually let you come in, take an existing location that you've spent hours building and literally duplicate it and then use it as a template so the next time your, your next customer comes in the door, you just say, okay, add them in, use this template, and boom, instantly, you've got all the campaigns, all the follow-up sequences, all the forms, everything ready to go. And this is how you're up and running in 30 minutes. You know, you change the company name, you change the logo, and you're good to go, right? So going back to what we were saying earlier about scaling up, you have to figure out how you can provide the biggest value focusing on your customer's pain point by doing the least amount of work. So if you put all the time in building out one of your campaigns and then just start taking a snapshot of it, rolling it out, takes 30 minutes to customize it, you're rolling out really fast, and now you just go back to focusing on sales again. Yeah, and so, and we've got all kinds of cool stuff, like we can tell you how lead sources are performing, we've got Facebook ads integration, Google ads integration, Google My Business integration, all kinds of stuff to give you guys reporting out to your clients so they can see how they're performing. Um, we've, like I said, we've got the Google Analytics integration, Yext integration, just so that you can bring all of this stuff into one place, so you're not having to go to 10 different spots to get that, that data that you're already trying to present to your clients right now. Um, so we're continuing to add tons and tons of stuff to the platform. I forgot to say there's also an outbound dialing feature within the app, so you can actually do real-time voice over IP calls, not only in the web app, but you can also do it in the mobile app. Um, so <laughs> there's a lot here. Um, but one of the things that, the only thing that we're really missing, and I, w I actually kind of wanted to show a quick demo of this today. So um, starting probably mid next month, we'll have our own funnel builder that's released. And our goal is to uh, replace ClickFunnels for all of our customers. Right now we've got about a 90, not, we've got about a 98% ClickFunnels customer base. Um, so we've built this, um, this really cool drag and drop um, funnel builder and, that we've been working on now for um, a couple of months and we're just nailing down all the, um, all the details. So we took one of Robin's uh, customers actually, and this is a funnel that he built in ClickFunnels, and then what, we, what we've done is we've gone out and actually uh, replicated this funnel. So you can, you can see here, you know, it's, it's pretty, it, pretty standard stuff. You've seen this stuff before, you know, you can swap elements, all that good stuff. Um, and then you can come over here and you can actually see that this funnel is live and, and things change and it's all built out. So we're, we're pretty excited about it. Most of our agencies we work with do two-step funnels. So we think we have a really good shot at, at, uh, at uh, replacing it. Um, we're just still in the preliminary uh, stages, but, um, but we've already bench tested it against the same ClickFunnels. So this is kind of the, we're getting like a B score here. We're not, we're not perfectly happy with that, but if you compare it to the ClickFunnels version that, that's already live, is they're getting an F. So we're already pretty excited that we're getting much higher load speeds. Um, and, and I think we're gonna see a lot higher conversion rates on our, on our pages, so. And this is without us even moving it to our big CDN server. Yeah, right? we're not, so we're not, just we're not done yet. Um, so yeah, so I mean, our, our vision, our goal, what, what we've been working on and what we're partnering with all the agencies on so far is really just trying to give you a situation where you're out, you're prospecting, and when you bring in that new client, you don't have to think, okay, I gotta go spin up a ClickFunnels landing page and I gotta go hook up Zapier and get a Google Sheet and all this other stuff. You're literally taking something you've already built in high level, duplicating it, and bam, that client's up and running you know, in 15, 20 minutes. So 
See the tie? Did I miss anything? You just show the mobile stuff. Oh yeah, I should probably show the mobile app real quick. So we currently do have an app in the App Store, um, and so this is kind of the latest version that we'll be releasing. Oh yeah, so yeah, so you can come in. You can you can. So here's all these conversations. So you can go back and forth with your clients um, via text. Um, you, you can. We have a white label version of this. It's a that is an additional cost, but um, you can use the the generic ones as part of any of our packages. We're shipping opportunities uh, next week, so this is like the same opportunities board I just showed you. So you can now come here and you can grab cards and you can move cards. Sorry, this is on a Mac, and so it's a little different. But you know, you can move cards over, all that good stuff. So, um, and then we'll have appointments actually uh, a week after next. So really trying to bring all the same functionality that we have in the web app into the mobile app. Um, and again, uh, you know, you can we have a we have a cool uh, white label version of this where you can actually take your your logo and your um, your brand and put it on the app um, and bring that out to your clients as a cohesive solution for your brand. So this is Law Hustle's uh, Android listing. So it's um, so it's pretty cool and it's a it's a great way if you've got if you got a particular niche or a particular customer base that you really want to create that cohesiveness on. And now you're not out selling somebody else's product um, because we don't sell to anybody other than marketing agencies. It's a pretty cool way to create a partnership and and do something pretty awesome. So um, I think that's all I got. Any questions? On what? <laughs> uh, well, I guess how much? Yeah. Uh, it's <laughs> well, I, I heard that question. That was how much. Uh, so it's actually pretty simple. So we try to keep it easy. So it's $97 for one location per month. And then it's $297 for unlimited locations. So we just try to give people who are just getting started kind of that one location package. And then anybody above that goes to $297. And then it's as many as you got. The white label version. It's an additional. All the all the all the web app under the 97 and the 297. The, the web app. So like, if you go to app.golawhustle.com, that the the web app version is part of the. Or I guess there's this down or something. Um, or it could be our awesome Wi-Fi here. Um, but anyways, the white label version is included in the 97 and the 297. It, the only other upgrade is an additional 497 for the mobile app. And that's because we're custom developing your app, and so we. Charge an extra and, and it goes into the real apps market and it's available in, on people's real iPhones. Yeah, and it's your account, so your agency can actually say, we have an app in the app store. Exactly. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so I've got a number of different tools I was writing down. There's a couple right off the bat, um, which sounds like this could replace it. So uh, using ClickFunnels, which obviously I think you guys- We're, we're almost there. Almost there. Give me a month. Um, Aweber and AW Pro Tools. So yep. I'm assuming you guys do the full automation for that portion. I don't know what AW Pro Tools is, but I definitely replace Aweber. Okay. <laughs> uh, Zapier? Oh yeah. We uh, actually integrate with Zapier, but we also have a lot of the tools built in. So you don't have to run forms through Zap Zapier or anything. We have our own form builder. Um, we can push stuff straight to Facebook uh, custom audiences. Uh, we do a lot of different automation right. tools built in. But we also integrate with Zapier as well. Okay. We, we, um, we have our own Zap, but I guess that, that helps. Got it. And then uh, two others, Calendly and yep. ManyChat. Uh, we replace Calendly and we integrate with Facebook Messenger. So what happens on ManyChat is we'll automatically pull the conversation in as it happens in ManyChat. And then, you know, in ManyChat, you always ask, do you have an email address or do you have a phone number? Like, what's your email? What's your phone? And then when they give that to us, we'll automatically pattern match it out and assign it to the contact. So then when you zap in the info, it'll match it all up and it, it works beautifully. Probably more than you want to know, but yeah, it works. Oh, okay. So one last piece of yeah. yeah. Now that you guys do all that, yeah. Um, from an integration standpoint, so assuming that we take you on, you know, ninety-seven, two ninety-seven. Yeah. Do you guys, you guys will work with us one-on-one, -on -one, or is it? Yeah. So everybody service? who signs up gets personal one-on-one -on -one setup calls, um, generally with me, um, or one of the people on my team, and yeah, you get as many of those as you want onboarding calls. Um, we are going to offer a new service here very shortly where we'll do. Um, some people, you know, they. The onboarding calls are like, you know, if you have a question, I, I'll give you an answer. But some people will just say, ah, you know, I just want you to set it up for me. So we will offer a new service here shortly with like some some pay for setup services. But um, every, you you get as many onboarding calls with me as you want. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And another thing that we are adding into the platform is uh, eventually white label services. So if you guys need help with delivery, we're running Facebook ad campaigns or Google ad campaigns and stuff, we will eventually be rolling that in. Can you walk me through what happens when you develop a force call or do a force call campaign and all that fun stuff? Like what happens? Oh yeah. Yeah. Great question. <laughs> yeah. So um, 
well, this will this will kind of get better. Um, we'll add on to this next week. But um, when it so one of the steps that I just breezed through here is this call step. So what happens is you know again it's speed delete. But so in this case, what happens is we uh, it will call out to in this case it's the attorney. And if the attorney picks up the phone, it'll say, hi, you have a new lead from Facebook named Sally Smith, press any key to connect. And if the attorney hits a key, we'll dial Sally Smith and then we'll see what happens. We use answering machine detection and if the call picks up, if Sally picks up, we'll join the call together. And then now the attorney is talking to their potential client. And if the voicemail picks up, we'll actually just drop the call and roll to the voicemail drop. And during that time, from an accountability perspective, you have the ability to enable recording so you as the agency could listen in on the calls and say, hey, your calls suck. You need to up your right. game on that. So th that's one of the features that we did build in there. Yeah, absolutely. The attorneys don't use it for, for, for good. The attorney doesn't, isn't available. We just keep rolling. So we, we just go to the next step. Our yeah. system's smart enough to just keep going. I mean, we build the system in, with the lead in mind, not with your client in mind. So our goal is to stay on that lead. So in their case, for example, if it, let's say it's business hours, the attorney doesn't pick up, we'll go to a voicemail drop instead. Yeah, but I would say that, you know, uh, the call features get about a 30% pickup rate with people who are really on it. Um, people who are not, like, people who are not so on it, maybe it's less, but we see a 95% reply rate on the texts. Um, the texts are really the way to go, but it's nice to layer in the voicemail drops in the calls as just icing on the cake. And if you do get on the call, the close rates on the calls are obviously higher, so there's no reason not to do them, but it's definitely, th these guys do it right, which is they just do every channel, and they figure some, you're coming back on some channel. Um, and you'd think that they'd overwhelm their clients and people get mad, but that's just classically not the case. People are like, oh, thank goodness, I was in the hospital and so happy that you stayed on me t for 30 text messages. And then, you know, and then they close them, so it's pretty awesome. And then next week we're adding a power dialer, so if anybody has like a more of a power dialer situation where you're loading up large lists and you have a salesperson you want to like push through 100 calls a day or whatever, we'll have that in, the, in here next so week. So it'll be on like last week when I went through all the interviews and buy 50 There you go, yeah. exactly. Yeah. One thing I do want to add though is well is like for us as a business using high level, and I know we have you know a couple of gym owners in here, um, it's actually helped our, our show rates for appointments. Oh yeah, I forgot about that automatic appointment reminders. Yeah, it helps it helps us a great deal in getting people to actually show up and uh, and the follow up is amazing. So I mean we use it for all of our dentists that we use, uh, all the real estate agents, um, mortgage brokers, we use it for everything and it's been really well. We actually have a couple who who in the crowd is a high level customer? Can you raise your hand? There we go, so look around, anybody who you don't see, definitely, if you have questions, talk to them. The, the thing I love to say is I'm not a marketing agency, I'm just kind of a computer geek, so like my speaking skills are so poor and I <laughs> fumble my words and things, so you should talk to these people and Robin, because they live it every day, but what, we, what we're doing and what I really think is special about our company and our, our mission is that we're, we really get, I get up every day and I think, okay, how can I make marketing agencies more money? How can I keep your customers longer? How can I help you get more customers? Like, what can we do? And because we don't sell to dentists or lawyers or doctors or gym owners, um, and if they call us, we won't take their money, and if we find out they're using our service, we'll cancel their accounts. We really are committed to only selling to marketing agencies and trying to, to, to really empower all of you, to give you another way to make money and just another way to scale your business. So it's something we're really passionate about. Yeah, and we even took it to the next level. I mean, we're really focused on the agency, not only for me, but for you guys, that we built out an idea board. And so when we talk about new features and enhancements and everything, we actually have a board where you can put up your ideas and get other agency owners or other businesses to vote it up. And we just work that list off as we build out new features. Yeah, it's actually, it, actually just, it actually lives right over here in the agency. So there's an agency view, which is very boring. It'll take a lot of time to show it off. It's really where like all your clients just, where, you, where your clients live and where you do all the setup. But the ideas board hangs off of here. And yeah, it's really critical. We, this is how we know what everybody wants us to do. We, we try to follow this list religiously and just go down the line. And if you if you want it, we build it. And, and you know, you're not competing with ideas from again lawyers or doctors or any of your clients. You're competing with ideas from other agencies. So 99% of the time, you're going to see things in here like, oh yeah, that's a great idea. Um, and so it gives us an, a, the ability to do things that I think you won't find in other platforms. Yeah. I forget mind body integration. How are the votes on that? Oh, not not good yet, but we'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, even the community itself, it's full of other agency owners. Everyone's given out their secrets and their processes and systems. Oh yeah, so when you sign up, you get access to our amazing Facebook group. Um, but it is actually pretty amazing because, um, I don't know, my password apparently just signed into Facebook, but whatever the case, um, <laughs> uh, we've got like over 800 members in here now. It's all, um, uh, it's, it's all marketing agencies. Well, I got a lot of chats. Um, what are we as of today? Uh, 858 members and climbing. So. 
it's great because it's not just about support for the software or you know, questions you might have on setup. It's really, people throw out stuff all the time like, hey, does anybody market to gym owners or does anybody do DR campaigns? And you know, it's a lot of community. Um, so it's, it's pretty cool and special to watch. Yeah, and there's two things there. One is when we talk about channel partners, there's other people in other industries. So if you run across a client that's not in your niche, you can partner up with somebody else in the group who knows high level and do a joint <coughs> venture with them or a partnership or something like that. Um, the other cool thing about our Facebook group, we now have people who are developing software on top of high level, which is really cool. And so it's helping to make the software even better. All right, so this isn't really a question, but I've been with high level for like five or six months and the customer service is unmatched. So I don't think they've slept like forever. So y'all get some sleep tonight. They literally <laughs> stay up like answering, make sure all of our questions are answered. Another thing I wanna make sure, um, because Sean went over a lot of stuff, but I just want to make sure you're aware with Facebook, okay, so two of, the two of the coolest things, in my opinion, is the direct integration with lead ads. So no more Zapier, like as soon as a lead ad, you get one, it goes straight in the system. So there's no like Zapier didn't fire, there's no lag, like it's a direct integration. The other thing too is really cool, in my opinion, is the direct integration with Facebook messages. So whenever someone messages the business, it comes straight in. So that way, you know, I deal with gym owners, so they're not like sitting there on their pages manager, oh, I didn't get the notification, like, it all comes straight in, okay? Um, and again, so I'm in the fitness space, and this solves all of my lead, follow-up sales, my product and my retention. It helps, it's not just lead. Um, it's obviously the follow-up, but, but the minute uh, someone joins the gym, now we're, you know, we're, we onboard them, and then we're able to retain them because we put them on a three-month or four-month campaign. So it, solves you know, from the second they're generated to the third year that they're there, we can retain them and, and keep in touch with them. So it's not just on the front end, it's literally all aspects of the business. So I definitely would recommend it. Yeah, when we talk about integrating all these different platforms, it might seem like a lot, but you as an agency owner, if you're able to integrate all these different channels for your clients, your stickiness level just increases significantly. It's very hard to cancel when you're handling all their text messages or it's one channel for accountability all their leads and their pipeline is managed all in one platform, it's very hard for your client to leave because you own a big part of their business. You're like their bank. Exactly. That's, and that's a great, that's the analogy I use every single day. I, I say, you know, you go to a bank, you get the checking account, you have a bad day with the, with the teller, it's easy to cancel, but when they get their, you get your mortgage, your car payment and a credit card, it's like, get, good luck, you're not moving, you're not leaving. They start taking the lead seriously when they see that. That's how much value in leads that's just sitting out there if you're not taking it seriously. I had a question about, well, first of all, when my largest client are themselves an agency, and they've got me jumping through a million hoops with Phone Wagon and, and Yext and BirdEye. One thing I, will, I did want to ask is, um, I really love BirdEye. I've worked with four different reputation management vendors. Sure. BirdEye offers a lot of, there's a lot. In, in BirdEye, especially their separate landing page, which acts as its own listing. Yeah. I mean, would you guys say that your system has you know a pretty uh, similarly robust? I mean, I love that it shows. No, up. I would say we. I would say that in any given category, it, 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 in any given category, we're going to be farther or shorter than in, in progression relative to the demand of our audience. So, we basically the way we, we think about it is, I always say you know twenty percent of the feature set does about eighty percent of the lift. So we always try to start with that 20% of the feature set. Like when we come out with our ClickFunnels replacement, it'll do great for the people who do have the two-step landing page, you know, the two-step funnel, right? But the people who have, you know, 30 steps and upsells and downsells, we won't be that person on that day. But here's the beautiful thing about it. We always move with our audience. So like with our calendar integration, it's, I would say, you know, that close to being everything Calendly or Schedule One says, right? On our reputation management stuff, there's probably some features like we don't have that independent landing page, for example. But the great news is it's on our roadmap and we'll get there because we have other agency owners who have asked for it. And all you have to do is vote it up on the ideas list and it gets done. So from, that's, from our perspective, that's kind of how we, how we handle it. Cool, sorry, I have a couple more questions. Oh, fire away. This would be brilliant. I, I love BirdEye, by the way. I, I, in fact, we, I started life as wanting to be a reputation management company. I talked to the guy who did partner sales for BirdEye. I know their story, I've heard their CEO talk. I mean, I, I know a lot about BirdEye as a, as a, as a company. I, I think they're great. but. Um, but yeah, definitely. But what we do is right now really well is we pull the reviews down and we help get more reviews. Um, and we've got the cool little website widget. And for most people, that does about everything they need. But I promise, if you get the votes, we will do it. Gotcha. Cool. 
Um, so one more question. Do you guys do anything with directory listings? Or yeah, yeah, we have Yext integration for that. Okay, yeah, we do. Beautiful. And we sell it at, so what we do is we use our, our account and our, and our goal is to just build up the discount and then just pass it back to you guys. So right now we, like, we get 50 bucks per month per location or whatever it is, but we're, we're close to like hitting that next notch, whatever it is, and so then we'll go back and retroactively drop our, our customer's prices so then whatever your markup is just gets bigger. Right, well, and I'm seeing is you can consolidate everything in here like I think we're at thirty dollars per location with Yext, but the that, money that, they're going to be Yext. saving by integrating everything else it's is time, right? right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Exactly. So yeah. So th by the way, this is Yext. So this is like our cool little graph in here, and you can show them all the locations, and you right. can link them out, and all this other stuff. Yeah. And, and in reality, with Yext, I, I definitely think that they don't have a longevity plan because Google can wipe them out, and right. Google will become the authority. And that's really how we have our platform, which is focused around building reviews on Google and Facebook, because um, we think those two are the the big ones that you should be focusing on. Okay, and then I'm sorry, one more question. So this agency that is my largest client, they themselves have a couple thousand clients, mm -hmm. a little, little bit more. Sure. So if I were to take this tool back to them, so you said it was 297 per location. No, it's unlimited. No, unlimited. Yeah. Now you said it was for something to include the mobile app. Yeah, so the most you could pay us at the end of the day is eight, is four ninety seven plus two ninety seven, which is I would say eight, I always like to round against my favor eight hundred bucks. So there's no cap on the number, even no, if they've got no, two thousand no. so, plus clients. So here's how, and let me just like be really deep on how we were able to do this. So if you look at so the, our fixed costs really revolve around two things. So it's email and, and then the texting slash phone calling slash voicemail dropping. So the way we do that is you just bring your own Twilio account, you bring your own Mailgun account, and then you just integrate those into our back end. And that allows us to keep our costs fixed. And then we don't have to sit around to like try to mark up Twilio or mark up Mailgun, which is what everybody sort of does. Like anybody you use who's a texting platform, they're really just texting on, on the back side of Twilio and marking it up. So what we do is just let you pay cost on those services. And then if you use, you know, for most agencies, their average client uses $2.50 a month or something ridiculously low. So it's not a big deal. And then for us, we just say it's too, we can just be 297 flat. Now what we would recommend, we would love it if you went to each one of those thousand customers and got the They're single right. location. And then we do an affiliate system, so it's 40%. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. So we grow 100% through affiliates. Um, we're, we, we pay 40% recurring affiliate commissions every month. And a 5% um, second tier. And a 5% second tier, sorry. Um, and so that's a big part of like, so if you take it back to that agency, you should probably use your affiliate link. Right. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm yeah. glad you got this before. Well, yeah, I, re I remember, but now I'm like, this is brilliant. <laughs> Quick question. Um, for the funnel builder aspect, yeah. how do you guys integrate with like domains and stuff? Buy multiple domains on multiple different Good funnels? question. Good so question. So, we'll s that, so, that's a gr so that's a good question. So, um, well, it all depends on what Robin tells us to do, but the original plan is we'll have, um, we'll, we're gonna start with subdomains because most of you guys have a domain, right? And I assume you hang most of your landing pages off of subdomains, is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah then we'll, what we'll have is like, hey, just go in, put a C name from your subdomain to here, and you're good to go. In fact, did you ever set up a white label login domain? No, that's okay. So it's just literally a C name. It's like, oh, okay, take your subdomain and point it at whitelabel.gohighlevel.com and it's, it's done. It's take, it takes two minutes. Cool. Oh, and we'll handle all the certification, the SSLs and all that. So yeah, that's all automatic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Good question. I think there's a question. Come on, Tim. Come on now. Would the, <laughs> would the software be beneficial for non-local businesses like a like if your clients are digital course creators? Yeah, we have people that that's all they do, absolutely. We even have some crazy people who do e-com with us. I shouldn't call them crazy because I love them to death. But I mean, I always thought there'd be a limitation there, but no, absolutely not. I mean, if you're, so just think about it. Anytime you're bringing in leads and you're, you, and whatever they may be buying and you need to respond to them in a timely manner or stay on them or just even do drip sequences. Like if you're, basically if you're using products like Active Campaign or Drip or, um, Infusionsoft, Mailchimp, Mailchimp, like, email yeah, we replace all those people. Yeah, and if you want to start tracking like email autoresponders, the more people on your email list you get, then the more you end up paying. Right? Exactly. So that's why we changed our pricing model. We're like, well, you know, it just doesn't make sense to us. So we're like, like, because like Mailgun, for example, <laughs> it's ten thousand free messages a month. I can't tell you how many free Mailgun customers we signed up. Mm -hmm. 
Most people don't pay them the elk on anything. And then Twilio, it's seven one thousandths of a cent to send a text message. So yeah. we're just like, well, why, why bother to charge people for that if we could just pass it yeah. off as cost? And then now we say, like, no contact limits, no texting okay. limits, no, no limits at all. And then some email autoresponders, they'll, your emails go into spam eventually. Right. Um, well, the nice thing is it's your Mailgun account, and it's your reputation. And yeah, and Mailgun has great support. You can always reach out to them if your IP gets blacklisted or whatever. They work with you. you can buy. Yeah, exactly. They, they do stuff for some of the biggest companies out there. So yeah, their, their customers are like Lyft and Uber and Slack. And some email autoresponders, they don't, they don't allow affiliate marketers. They have like well, we, 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 we love marketers, so yeah. come on down. I mean, <laughs> again, I mean, it, it, you know, and that's the great thing about it. We're, we're like, you know, you can't send a, bu a bunch of spam, but I mean, other than that, 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 and that's not our rule, that's anybody's rule, right? But as long as you're setting up things that people don't hate, then you'll be fine. Yeah, the restriction's not on us. If there's yeah. a restriction, it'd be on Milga. <laughs> yeah. So it's basically like a CRM, and let's say your customers, your, your leads, they end up buying something. So digital, of course, can they be tagged? Yep. Them? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Put them on a different flow and send them different sequences. Absolutely. In fact, we'll get more and more and more kind of into this area. So, you know, our goal for, uh, let's say, till, I don't know, September, sort of October timeframe is to, is to finish out all the client facing tools. And then we'll really start to focus back more on the agency tools, things like billing, help desk, um, uh, those sorts of things. So that way you can build in like, um, like if you want to do your own uh, courses, your own help desk kind of stuff, we'll have that in the app as well. Yeah, the goal for us is to become, just like your Windows or Mac, we become your operating system for your agency. We got time for like one more question. Cool. It's gonna be a good one, I can feel it. <laughs> Thank you. No pressure. No pressure. Um, I want to go back, uh, just for my understanding, is yeah. I am a you know, small agency actually startup, but, um, on the previous question, you said it would be great if all the thousand clients would get the single licenses. Okay. Yes. So if if you run the agency, yes. uh, You know, so the one client is actually the agency, and if you want to run your client under your account, well, you will have to have yes, a Yes, that in fact is what we most often see and what we most often want you to do. Our our goal is for this to be your platform, not our platform. I mean, we think of ourselves. Think we think. I, well, I think of my, ourselves as as kind of like in the power tools business, and you're the professional contractor. So we're we're trying to create something, a platform that you can use to to, to scale up, to sell, and make money off of it. And, and it should all be under your account, under your brand, all of that. They should know we exist, and we work hard to make that happen. But so I would have one account as an agency. Yep, that's okay. two. That, so let's say you have one account and you have four customers. Right. That's two ninety seven. Okay. You have one account and 40 customers. That's 297. Okay. So all the my customers, let's say I have chiropractors. Yep. Or I have dentists. Great. We, we love chiropractors. <laughs> we do. And so all of them will be in my account. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. And, and if, they, if, they want to, yeah, if they want to manage their own customers, they would get their own. Well, then this is what will happen. So what will happen is when they log in, they, they won't see this like account switcher. They won't see any of this agency stuff. When they log in, they'll, they'll drop into this view. So you'll add them as a user in here and they'll use the system, but they'll see it like this from the outside. Does that make sense? So they will manage their own customers. Yes, absolutely. The same system. A absolutely. And, and everybody does it differently. Some people let their customers in the system. Pe some people never let their customers in the system. That's kind of on you. Mm -hmm. And it tends to be like the done with you versus done, done for you model. And we can talk a lot about that in kind of on your setup call and figure out what works for you. Mm -hmm. But I mean, the great thing is we've set it up in a way that you can manage it all yourself or what a lot of people do is just train their customers on how to do it. And you know, you, all these left menu items can get a little overwhelming. When you set up users, you can actually switch off sections you don't want people to see. So you can really customize it, dumb it down for your customer. Okay, cool, thank you. Yeah. All right, guys. I